creating a table on an HTML page is a very common task. The data table jQuery plugin provides advanced controls like sorting, searching, etc. with just a few lines of code to the HTML tables. In this video, we will see a REST web service we had developed earlier in my video Building REST based web services with Spring Boot. Next, we will create a simple HTML page to show how to consume the REST service. I had covered this earlier in my video Consuming REST web service in an HTML page. Please watch it to get more details. We will display the data from the REST service in an HTML table. Applying the data table plugin, we will demonstrate how simple and easy it is to turn it into a searchable, sortable HTML table. First, let us go to the browser and type http localhost 8080 slash persons slash all to access our REST web service. It is a get call which returns the person objects with attributes ID, first name, last name and age. We have two of these objects right now. Let's say we want to consume this web service inside an HTML page. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's create a new project, give it a name, data table, click finish. Let's right click on the project and choose new file, give it a name, index.html, click finish. First, let us start creating the structure of the HTML file with the HTML tag, the head tag and the body tag. Let us give it a title person information. Let's put a meta tag here for car set as UTF-8. At this point, let us take a look at the data table plugin. Let's google for javascript data table and it comes up with this link at https datatables.net. Click on it. Data table plugin adds advanced controls into your HTML table in a free and easy way. All you need at the very basic is to include a few JavaScript and CSS files and call a jQuery function on the HTML table. That will result in a table which can be sorted by clicking on the columns. There is search provided for the table. Let's click on the examples and here you would see various examples of creating data tables and adding simple and advanced features. Let's click on JavaScript source data for our table. Here at the bottom, it shows the HTML with the data. In our case, we will get it by calling the REST service. There is the data table function on the table ID, specifying the columns present in the data. We have to include these JavaScript files and this CSS. So now, let's actually go and implement this in our code. Back in our project, let me paste these lines to get the CSS file for the data table and the JavaScript for jQuery and jQuery data table. Next, let's create a script tag to get our JavaScript. Let's create the document.ready function. Here is a variable for the base URL. Let's create a new XML HTTP request variable. Open it for a get call, appending to the base URL slash all to create our final URL. On our ready state change function, when the status for the call is 200 or successful, then we obtain the result in the person's variable by invoking json.parse xml http.response text. If you want to get a more detailed explanation, please watch my video Consuming REST Web Service in an HTML page. At this point, we have our JSON data. Let's say we want to populate a table element with id example. Let's create the element in the body. Using jQuery, let us get the table element with id example, call the data table function on it. Using data, we provide the source of data as persons. Then we specify the columns as in the data with names id, first name, last name and age. Let's create a header row with the labels. Let's surround it in t-head. Similarly, let's create a footer row. Let's copy this over here. Oh yes, we have to complete the ajax call 
by XML HTTP dot send. That's it. This is a standalone HTML page. So here it is in our file system. Let's click it. It opens it up in the browser. The rest call is made, data is obtained, and using data tables, we see a nice HTML table, which is sortable by clicking on the labels, and there is search provided. So how easy it is to achieve this by just a few lines of simple data table configuration. Pretty cool. In this video, we first saw our existing REST web service. We consumed it in the HTML page, and then using data tables, we were able to create a sortable and searchable table. Thanks for watching.